Did you know that when God created you, He had a purpose set in mind for you? The Gospel today tells us the story of the birth of John the Baptist. And you see, this is a very important event in history. Because in the Old Testament, God made a promise to His people that He will be sending a prophetic messenger who will prepare them to meet their God. And John the Baptist was the fulfillment of that promise. And there's this particular part in our text today where it says that the neighbors and relatives came and they were talking among themselves, how will this baby be named? And just what as what has been spoken by God to Zacharias and to Elizabeth, they said, he is to be named John. But to this, the neighbors and relatives responded by saying, but nobody in your family has ever been called by that name. And by this statement, somehow they were expecting John to be who they think he is. But you see, God set John apart from everyone else. Why? Because John was to fulfill a unique purpose which the people didn't understand yet. And the obedience of John's parents and of John himself to what God said played a crucial role in the unfolding of the story of Jesus and in the salvation of humanity. And I believe that what was true of John is what is true of you and me too. I don't know who you are or what life feels like or looks like for you, but let me encourage you with this truth. God has set you apart for a purpose. And sometimes that purpose will entail us to live differently from everyone else. And I know sometimes it's going to be hard to live differently. It's going to be uncomfortable. Sometimes it's going to take a lot of faith because we don't see or understand it yet, but we can trust that that purpose is for good, for our good, because God is good. And for our reflection today, I want to invite you, why don't you take out your notes? It can be a physical notebook or your notes app, whatever it is, whatever you're more comfortable with. And take the time to just sit down and ask God, God, what am I here on earth for? What is my purpose? And you know what helps? You can think about the things that you love doing, the things that make you feel most alive. Because so often, and by the grace of God, it is what we love doing. It is what makes us feel most alive where we can find our purpose in. And with that, let's just continue this reflection as we pray together. Together, let's remember that God is here. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, God, that you have created us for a purpose that we are not here by accident. And we ask that you give us the courage to say yes to you and to say yes to living differently from everyone else. And we trust that our yes plays an important role in the way you're unfolding the beautiful story of how you're renewing this earth, that we may find life full with you again. We love you and we say yes to you. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless us all.